Hi there, thanks for watching. This is going to be a test of the Flamma FBO2 vocal doubling pedal. So first up is a basic doubling. Um, it has, oh, let's, let's hear it. This is the doubling sound. It doubles your voice. This is the doubler set to 50%. Let's go up to like 75. You can hear it in my voice. You can also hear I'm not a singer, but let's give this a try anyway. When you go to a hundred, you got a nice vocal chorus. We're going to back this down because mode two is an octave down. So this is what it sounds like with an octave down. It can be a little, a little much for some people, but I think if you mix in some reverb, it adds a lot to the sound. It adds a lot to the sound. If you go all the way up, it gets a little ridiculous. Hello there. This is the Hall Reverb. Hello, I am not Johnny Cash. Mode 3 is an octave up. Again, I think it sounds really good with the reverb. Also, I'm doing all of these with the vocal tone turned off. There's a warm and a bright mode. The bright mode combined with the octave up is really pronounced. Uh, and I think that can come in handy if you really want a high voice. Uh, one of the added benefits of this pedal is that even if you're not great at singing in pitch, the doubler stays in pitch to whatever you're singing. So you can sing like this, and at least the second voice sounds like it's supposed to. Even if the first voice doesn't sound like it's supposed to. So mode four is a combined octave up and octave down with the original signal. Let's hear what that sounds like. At 50%, here we go, this is 50% of both. This is 75 of both. Maybe this is 75, I'm not really good at math. And this is 100%, 100% of mode four. Now mode five just says group two. So let's see what group two sounds like. This is a bit of group two. This is 50% of group two. This is 75. I don't really know what's going on here. But I think it sounds pretty neat. I hope you think the same. This is the warm setting. So this is the warm setting on 100% doubling the chorus mode. I, uh, I think this is a really nice sounding pedal. Um, I am going to attempt to sing something, which I apologize for in advance. Um, I am also going to put a little bit of a drum beat behind this. Um, so before I start singing, let me uh, explain how the um, hidden mode works. So right now, this light is nice and red. This light is nice and green. If I press and hold this, this goes to a yellow. It might not come up on the camera. Um, when I'm in the yellow mode, I can adjust the reverb on the guitar input. And like I said, I have a drum beat going on there right now. Let's see where that's at. So this is the drum with no reverb. This is the room reverb on the drum. This is the hall, but the plate, I think, is the most distinct to hear it stand out from the vocal reverb. So the drum, I'll turn that down a bit, the drum on the plate reverb, you hear a lot of splashback. So I'm going to leave that on, and I might mess with the volume a little bit, but I'm going to leave that on. Now I'm out of hidden mode. Still have that nice splash on the plate of the room reverb. 
reverb. So I can get a hall on the vocals. So I can add an octave down and a long hall. But my guitar input still has play. see that this pedal actually brings out the best of what I've got to offer. So thanks for listening. <laughs>